Yoski, I have another project completed yesterday and this is the kind which is really difficult to convey in just static images which is why a video is in order and uh, yeah it's a stand rack mobile holder accessory well shop infrastructure basically a holder for uh, model paints and uh, yeah it was a journey i think i was thinking about a solution for this since at least the beginning of december last year and i've gone over a number of ideas so yeah it's a story and it's a journey now i think the most important thing is that this time i did actually start by looking for commercial solutions uh, so basically allegro which is like uh, the sort of a central european amazon slash ebay though it's getting amazonified since at least last half a decade it's not unshittified yet it's actually kind of funny i think they will get their you know like to the peak amazon experience probably pretty soon but anyways no digressions so yeah i mean it's model paint so you have those uh, tiny little funny cans and uh, as usual things start somewhere so in my case i have my system of those uh, little things boxes containers these are like the small ones i have medium ones and then the large ones i've bought a metric crap ton of these i really like them so this is like a stack of three uh, of those boxes so basically you can quite easily adjust how strong mechanically you want them to be and i find that a stack of three is like the default if it's bending then you add more in cases you have stuff that's really light you can just remove one but you know like the problem with that is like this default solution is that once you get to a number of paints you're gonna need to stack them and if you stack them you only see the top so you have no idea what other colors you have below and i think that's a very important criterion for you know, like holding things where actually looking at them tells you exactly what they are because as you can see the fronts like the cups are painted with the actual paint and to be honest i think that's pretty awesome in terms of the solution so it's actually even better than the montana spray cans where you get like this uh, cup ring on the top which simulates the color because it's made out of plastic this stuff is actually painted with the paint that's inside so it's exactly what you're gonna get i mean that is awesome i mean these paints made in germany i think the brand name is revel or whatever i really don't care i mean again nothing here is sponsored paid for etc etc it's just me trying to share a story so uh yeah so paint cans and me looking at allegro trying to find uh, some storage solution and you know like i found some but all of them were basically laser cut mdf or plywood kind of like uh, assemble on your own you know ikea flat pack styles and i mean it's like if you cannot do anything on your own they weren't that bad but they basically had the problem that if you were actually able to see all of the colors they would take a lot more space than this solution and if you wanted to have something compact they would just like you know stack them in a different way so basically the point is that i haven't found anything that would be satisfactory to me so i've continued with my ideas of uh, you know how to solve it and i did actually iterate i think one of the first one was cardboard so there is actually use for cardboard and hot glue it's like quick iterations so my first idea was to have this sort of an arrangement uh, similar to this and you can see you know, the progression so this was the initial idea you would take the paint cans and keep them here and you know just make more of these like modules and just stack them the problem is i do not have any sane way of actually making such a hole in anything more sturdy than cardboard i don't have like a what are they called forstner's bits i don't even have md like i have mdf which is like the lowest material that i have i don't have any plywood maybe i will change that but in general i don't like working with wood 
or wooden thing because you know like actual wood is a different thing generally because of the dust and uh, the fact that to get you know the strength of this pvc it's like four millimeters thick you need probably like a centimeter thick plywood just to match it so so yeah went over this i mean couldn't make the holes but you know the general idea that having them at an angle would be nice was already you know like from this so you know like always iterate and yeah the next iteration was these two pieces because i was thinking like specially i'm just looking if you can yeah you can see that or at least you should be able to so basically the bottom stuff like this the sides of it and uh, yeah so i was only like figuring out uh, the radius here wasn't really paying attention to the angles or you know, like whatever so just having this stand as it is and um, yeah the next steps you know like terms of material choice this is mostly made out of garbage which i'm very happy about i would say even proud that i'm reusing or like using stuff that's uh, not really actually bought for any of that it's the stuff that i have lying around so yeah the both the sides and the bottom uh, pvc four millimeters thick white hard pvc very nice material i've done most of the stuff out of it i really like it this was from an off cut a single piece of an off cut and I still like managed to make one more usable off cut while doing this. And the rods, these are like steel rods, I believe powder coated. This is from a very abused uh, coats hanging rack, you know, like for drying this like folding thing made out of <coughs> um, those rods and uh, metal pipes, like really like cheap shitty one. Uh, I actually rebuilt that, replaced those rods with a metal wire and it's still working, so, you know, a double whammy, so to say. But then again, this being abused, none of them, and there's like two, four, so like eight, twelve, two, four, six, eight, excuse me. Yeah, I can count. In any case, these are all like very much abused uh, metal rods, but again, like they were free and... Uh, yeah, so this is an angle, so this is basically tie wire, you know, like you get when you buy stuff with cables, just to nudge it a little bit so the middle ones don't fall out. The ones which are, you know, like at the sides, this works perfectly, doesn't need like any additional securing mechanism. And I mean, if you have better ideas of like how to basically pinch it a bit here in a better way, I'm open to suggestions. I've tried a number of things. This was like the easiest and nice looking one that actually works so i'm happy with that now the next thing that's really important for me is as, as you can see that it has a handle and you can handle it with a handle hey <laughs> and as far as you can see the stuff doesn't really fall out i mean <clears throat> this isn't you know like a built like a tank it's uh, well time will tell but you can generally just you know, like move around with it which is another important thing and not all points you can see the cans so you know what colors you have now for the handle with this kind of another sub story to this i was actually thinking because i have like a whole bunch of those uh, steel threaded roads which you know like would definitely add rigidity to the structure and this is another off cut and as you can see i was hoping it's going to be perfect but it's like a centimeter too short i mean it's like almost there it's like almost there but you know not really usable so again like another iteration change of plans this is actually a new material it's a steel wire i think it's 1.2 14 millimeters well no it's not a centimeter sorry in any case it's like a relatively thick steel wire it's zinc coated uh, they actually sell it when you're doing like fencing so this is the stuff that you would put across a fence and then you will tighten it so it's relatively flexible well relatively flexible i can bend it in like my just my hands but uh, it's uh, it's not easy in any case you know like <laughs> another funny thing is that yeah you know like you just bend one end you put it through but then well, you have to bend the other end, and here's a bit of plastic. 
it's a separate story. It's fun to figure it out how to do it, because obviously it is possible without any destruction of the existing structure. And uh, yeah, so basically the band that you probably should be able to see, yeah, it's not straight. It's because, you know, you buy, you buy this uh, steel wire in a coil <laughs> and making it perfectly straight is something that I haven't figured out yet. It's, uh, it's learning, you know, new materials, new stuff. And uh, yeah, I think what's the last thing, so basically this is the only like new, new, new part, like in air quotes, and then the CA glue, because it's all glued, there's no mechanical fastener to be seen on this whole thing, so you know, just uh, drill holes, countersunk them a bit so that I can put the CA glue, like on all of those, and it's the same for like the bottom side so the sides sit on the bottom plate they're like in it mm -hmm. it's difficult to operate the cameras at weird angles but yeah i mean so far it's like you know from my perspective i wouldn't assign much structure to this but it does feel solid because you know like i was worried but then i mean these are steel rods they are glued in so they are structural and the stuff holds so, yeah, you know, like, going over, like, iterating over stuff, you know, like, starting with this, having this idea, moving to just the sides, and this, like, I guess, toad, toad design, like a toad bag. Yeah, I mean, time will tell if it stays together and if it's practical, but so far I'm liking it, which is, like, why I'm making this video. And yeah, also one of the steel rods from here, it's actually so not straight that it like was causing problems so i just cut another one so yeah i mean i like the look of it and it makes a very satisfying sounds you know like just jiggling it around it's a nice thing yeah uh, if you have any questions or suggestions please do leave them in the comments finished this just yesterday so we'll see how it fares in actual use and uh, yeah thanks for watching and remember keep improving your environment that's always good for you and uh, people around you bye